Hi, <clears throat> I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithlane.com and welcome to today's project. Just for a change, I thought I'd make a square card using the Fruitful Bundle stamps and dies. And you can find this on page 45 of the September to December mini. It's this one here. I thought that I would try and make a card with the Wild Wheat 2023 to 2025 in colour. I'm afraid it's a colour that I'm not terribly fond of, but if you cover it up, most of it, it's okay. <laughs> and it, it's also a sort of autumn-y colour. So this is the stamp set and these are the dies. The dies I'm using are the stylish shaped dies and I've used the largest of the square dies and this tag die. I'm also using the sketched plaid background stamp. This is a rather the large stamp and it goes on Stamping Up's largest block which is a block F and you'll find it in the annual catalogue on page 118. The inks I'm using are copper clay and tuxedo black memento ink and rather a lot of stamping blinds. So this is soft sea foam, mossy meadow, lemon lolly, crumb cake and the 23 to 25 in colours wild wheat and copper clay and also the 2023 20, to 2025 in coloured dots. So let's start with the card base. I've cut this at eight and a quarter by four and one eighth and in metric that will be 21 centimetres by 10.5 and folded in half. I've die cut the largest square from stylish shapes in copper clay and for the inside of the card, this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters, which is 9.5 by 9.5. You also need scraps of basic white to stamp your images on and die cut them for the front of the card. First, I'm going to stamp the inside of the card with just this acorn. And I'll colour it with the crumb cake combo portion here will be in the dark crumb cake and the lower part will be in the light. So I'll speed this up, glue this onto the inside of the card leaving an even border all round. Now with a block this big you want to take your card to the stamp rather than the other way round. Make sure you ink up all the stamp so that you don't have any blank patches. We're stamping directly onto the card front and you want to make sure that your edge is completely straight. So I'm lining up the stamp with the line here and popping my cardstock Um, along this line, shut the card and then rub my hand over the paper to make sure that all the ink is covered on the card front. which is the front of your card and which is the back. So this is the back. I'm going to put one in the middle and one in each corner. Remove the backing. And then use the grid paper to help me align that so that it is square this grid paper. So let's use four as the middle line. So I want to align that at four and four down here. 
bring in a scrap of basic white and stamp smudged it try the other side to stamp the acorns the leaf and the pears first I'm going to colour the leaves in mossy meadow combo and the acorns in crumb cake combo next I'll do the pears so that's a combination of the lemon lolly soft sea foam and for the leaves mossy meadow I'll speed this up as well And just for the leaves, I'm using wild wheat and copper clay. The images are too small, really, to do in any shading. So I'll probably just use the light wheat and the dark copper clay. So pop all the dies on the cutting plate. The sandwich is platform one. Thin die adapter platform two. Cardstock with dies cutting edge face down, back, followed by a second platform three, and I'm ready to run it through the machine. Die cut some extra leaves in mossy meadow. So now we want to put dimensionals on the back of the pairs and pop them sort of round about there. Attach a glue dot to the leaf, pop that here, pop a dimensional on this acorn and have one overlapping. Pop a dimensional on the back of the leaf, pop that one there. And another dimension on this leaf here. Glue dots underneath that leaf. Pop a dimension on this. Then a glue dot on this leaf here. this directly onto last finishing touch how quick and easy was that so there's the inside and I've used a combination of the copper clay and wild wheat to give the leaves a look that it's turning colour for the autumn so I hope you've enjoyed today's Thanksgiving card and I'll be back with more inspiration next time. If you like it, then do give me a thumbs up and share. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.